Gaffa. It's a, a massive three points. Two wins in a row, 3 2 8 against Buxton. Just how do you feel about that? I'm happy for the lads. I really am. They've, uh, you know, they've been my mainstay comment, I think, through the whole run of they've been playing well, they've been giving us everything. They've, they deserve more than they've had up until this point over the last, obviously, previous 10 games to Saturday. Um, and they're now just getting what they've really earned and deserved. So, look, I'm really proud of them. I'm really happy for them. Obviously, I'm really happy for the supporters. Um, you know, it's been a, it has been a tough run, uh, and they stuck by us right up until last Tuesday. And I know, obviously, it's a derby, so it was a little bit tastier. Um, but yeah, just really happy for them. Yeah, and in the final third is something that you spoke about quite often. Obviously, in weeks gone by, we maybe weren't creating the chances we were early on the season. We're creating them, you know, by the the handful. Now we could have had maybe five or six on a different night and night. Just what's the key to that? Um. Personnel sometimes, I think, I think obviously, you know, bringing somebody like JJ in, and we've talked about JJ a lot over the last couple of games, um, he's a bit of a focal figure, uh, he's a big lad, he's obviously, he understands his position. Um, Luke James obviously comes in, experience, you know, he knows how to drag people around, Xander, and that's not to say that the lads that have played up there, like, I mean, even Harry Gardner comes on, could have scored another couple of goals, so we've got threats up there. We've just not had the experience to call on, you know, young Charlie's had to do with a lot of running up there, young Billy. Um, it's been tough at the top end of the pitch um, and we've created a lot of opportunities and got in some great positions over the run but those little bits, those little bits of experience and understanding of the shape, they just buy that little bit more when you get up there and uh, you know the shape's been something that I've been talked about and it's round pegs, round holes. At the end of the day, we, if we've got the people to play certain shapes, we will. If we have other positions available, other, other people available, then we have to play different shapes. So between... We've always been very good at getting from goalkeeper to the final third. All right, I, I don't believe that we've played poorly in, in maybe one game over the last 13, 12, 13 games. When we get into that end, it is the business end. We've created chances. We've not quite always taken them. We're now off. Yeah, and uh, you touched on Zander there. Two goals tonight. Fantastic performance from him. He must be so pleased that he, you know, he started the game and just the way his effort and everything just be so delighted with him. Yeah, look, yeah, I'm really happy. I am really, really happy with Xander in, in a lot of ways because he, tonight he was absolutely outstanding. At the weekend, he did a fantastic job for us as well. Um, like in that shape, look, the, the big thing for us is because we dominate the ball, we're very susceptible when we give the ball away. So the out of possession stuff is really, really key to us. And tonight, the whole team absolutely worked their socks off. But Xander's doing that as a young lad on loan who came in. You know, I put him in as I just said there. I didn't put him in his natural position in his first game. We had to kind of move the shape around, which didn't suit his natural position. So he sat on the bench for a little bit. His attitude never changed. He trained really well, waited till he got his opportunity. And then the last two games has been brilliant. So, yeah, uh, again, decision making for a young lad. We're 3-1 up um, and I want him to kind of look after the ball. But he goes in search of his hat trick and tries to shoot. But I'll forgive him. Yeah, and uh, a big trip at the weekend. Peter Brown, obviously, we've got training on Thursday as well. Just what do we do to prepare for Peter Brown? Is it going to be... Slightly easier in a sense after the back to back wins, or do you, is it just exactly the same as what it was and just carry on doing what we're doing? Well, there'll be a lot of bubble wrap and uh, like tender bodies in the, in training on Thursday, I've got no doubt. So we'll probably take it light. We will have a little look, obviously, at Peterborough um, and we'll touch on them in the training session just to make sure that we've got bases covered. I don't believe it's any easier um, because, as I've just said to the players there, you know, we're a football club that's in a position in the league that we don't really want to be. So, how high can we get? So there's, you know, I, I posed the question to the players before the game, can we take nine points this week? That's the way that we approach it. And that's the way we approach it all the time. Regardless of the results, we've approached every game to win it from the second I came to the club, never mind since I took over at Christmas. So we will look at how we get to Saturday and how we go down to Peterborough and look for three points. Yeah, and just finally, a quick message for the support. As because Stuck sang all night the night, must have been great after, as you said, the, the tough few weeks must be great to hear that. And, and he had a chat all the way through the game. Yeah, and and honestly, it's been a it's been another thing that I have probably said quite a lot is home and away. The supporters have been brilliant for us. They really, really have. And you know, I fronted up last last Tuesday and had a, had a chat and explained a few things. I understood that we, you know, not only are we on a bad run, but to lose out to a, a local rival is tough. Um, so I un I completely understood. It was just probably you know it boiled over a little bit passionate on on in the terraces. Which is fine, and again, I'll always maintain fans have the be the biggest voice in the club. Um, so yeah, for them, for them to have followed us down on Saturday as well. By the way, down all the way down to Southport, 
and sing all the way through that. You know, I'm, I'm happy that we obviously earned a win down there. And the big message to the players was, can we back it up? And tonight we have, and they've been there every step of the way. It's been great.